all of the UAE, all of the cities, it's opening its arms and waiting for each and every one of you. These are not just normal games. These are games beyond sport. These are games all about humanity. A lot of these athletes cannot get screened in their home countries. And what we have done is that we will have access to each and every athlete, a screening, a full medical checkup for them um, to be ready, to be healthy, and to create something back to society as well. The United Arab Emirates is proud to be the first ever country in the Middle East and North Africa to host 2019 Special Olympic World Games. The United Arab Emirates views that the Games as an important mission to drive and to create a more exclusive, open, tolerant society. So the gift that we are about to give to our ambassador here, the gift is represent a circle of trust, a symbol of friendship shared within Special Olympics athletes and the ambassador of the United Emirates. If we can't win, we'll be brave in the attempt. Crown Prince Court led the winning bid of the Special Olympics World Games with a mission to promote positive social change for people with determination and create a more inclusive society. Inclusion takes place way before the competition, during competition, and every moment between breaks and after the game. They are leading the way and showing the world how to create communities of acceptance and communities of inclusion. United Arab Emirates celebrates its 25th anniversary this year, just as Special Olympics celebrates its 50th anniversary, and long may this relationship flourish. And I want to say to you, Excellency, please convey Africa's warm gratitude to the people of United Arab Emirates and to the leadership. We are very grateful. And we are coming in our numbers. We march into a country for social inclusion. Thank you. The event we are today celebrating, it is uh, the beginning of uh, collectively work with the South African uh, Special Olympic to prepare the last meeting before to go to the march to UE to celebrate 2019 uh, Special Olympic, uh, which is uh, first ever held in the United Arab Emirates and also in the Middle East and North Africa. We're going to achieve a lot of taking the youth from the street, from non-employment for uh, a job and giving their educations. Yeah, this is uh, the turning point, how uh, the Middle East and United Arab Emirates are part of it to look to African continent, to United, especially to target the youth to be the leaders in the sport. Yeah, Special Olympics is sport for people with intellectual disabilities. And this is the population that is most neglected in the world. So Special Olympics brings them out using sport as a tool, uh, brings them out into society and uh, reverses stereotype because many people think that uh, uh, Special Olympics athletes, those with intellectual disabilities, cannot do anything. So we are showing the world that they are the same as us. A person with intellectual disability, give him a ball, they'll play just like any other person. To me, Special Olympics is an organization that helps people with intellectual disability to accept themselves and to build their confidence through sports. The event is going to be hosted in Abu Dhabi for the very first time and uh, it, we are all excited and they have done a, a tremendous job in preparing. It's a great work, it shows unification, interaction, it shows inclusion. Today we are showing the world 
that uh, uh, Special Olympics brings people together. And we're glad that uh, His Excellency the Ambassador here has opened this the door in Pretoria here, in the Pretoria streets, to signify the unification as we approach the World Games that are going to be held in, uh, in, uh, in Abu Dhabi very soon. We hope we, us, along with the people of determination, can always walk together and walk uh, in unity for messages, spreading the messages of um, love. Thank you very much.